a new project like uh, Farmers to Neighbors is about shortening the food chain and at the same time making sure that all people in Amsterdam are provided with healthy and sustainable food. So we know that Amsterdam has developed one circular economy roadmap and this year you released your second roadmap. Um, and as part of that roadmap development, you use the donut economics framework um, to be able to develop that. Um, Evelyn, could you talk to us about why you decided to use this model um, as opposed to the model that you used before or other models um, that exist? Yes, happy to do so. Uh, good afternoon to you all. Um, what we did when we developed the first roadmap, it was based on um, a research, say, journey to find out where we have to focus on. And we decided back then, a couple of years ago, to focus on the built environment value chain and the food and biomass value chain. We evaluated uh, all those projects that we realized um, in the last couple of years. And we concluded that we can't afford as a city to only look at, say, the physical environment or the environmental boundaries. We also have to take into account the social foundation. And when we met uh, Anrika again, and also together with Kate, we decided very quickly um, that uh, the next step in the development of our new strategy and to really become a climate neutral and inclusive uh, and circular city, um, that it is a unique opportunity to use the donut economics framework as an underlying methodology or starting point or framework on which we can build our new strategy. So what we did by developing the new five-year strategy and also the two-year innovation and, uh, and action program is that we checked very thoroughly if every aspect, every building stone of this strategy and this program is really helping us to stay within the planetary boundaries and at the same time strengthen social foundation. And in your new roadmap, you focused on uh, three sectors. Um, so you have the built environment um, and organic um, and, and the food organic waste streams in the food sector, and you've added consumer products um, as a focus area for Amsterdam. Could you talk us through about what the donut economics framework looks like when applied to a specific sector like consumer goods or the built environment? Yeah, what we did, because we were looking at these three value chains, and uh, when we also developed together the strategy and uh, all the, the, the two and more hundreds of uh, projects within the innovation and action program. We did that together with all the different departments we have in our city administration. So it's really a city-wide uh, program. And we also include um, other stakeholders like the businesses, the citizens, the knowledge institutions. So it's a kind of movement that we are creating uh, throughout our city. Um, and using the donut economic frameworks makes us realize that when we are developing our projects like um, uh, looking at the food and, and organic waste stream uh, value chain, that also given the, the actual situation of the pandemic, a new project like uh, Farmers to Neighbors is about shortening the food chain and at the same time, making sure that all people in Amsterdam are provided with healthy and sustainable food. Um, so that is really applying the donut on a very concrete uh, project. Um, another one is also during the, the, the present pandemic is a project called um, Everybody Connected, in which we are uh, helping uh, all those households and also especially the children who are, have to stay at home and at the same time uh, needs education to apply them with refurbished laptops. So also again, uh, using existing material and existing laptops, refurbish them and share them with those who can't afford to buy a new laptop by themselves. It's also, I think, a very practical example of how we apply uh, the donut on the level of the city. 
And from another um, uh, perspective, when we look at, say, the, the, the built environment, because laptops is an example of, of course, of the consumer goods value chain. When we look at the built environment, an example is that when we look at city district development, there are a lot of values already captured on the level of the city di district. By look at energy sources, water supply, biodiversity, social cohesion, existing materials, because there are existing buildings. And what we do is we start to look at these city districts by looking at all those different values. So we make a value inventory. And then based on that inventory, we can decide uh, what values we have to, to keep um, when we are renovating the city district or redeveloping the city district. So of all levels of our city, throughout all those value chains, we can apply uh, all those different aspects of uh, the city donut. Mm -hmm. And it means uh, also that when we look at a project or where we look at a decision we have to make as a city, we can make a balanced decision because we look at all those different aspects together. Before I let Lara ask a question, because I know she has, um, she definitely has questions for you as well. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that um, you've translated circular economy from a program to a movement in Amsterdam, something that I know you're very proud of. Um, and that's something that many cities that we speak to are striving for as well. Um, could you maybe quickly just tell us a little bit about how you've managed to do that? Yes, what we did, we started um, the development of this new strategy at the beginning of last year in 2019, in the spring of 2019. And we invited um, colleagues from all different departments to work together with us, with Kate and with Anarika and her team on the building blocks for this new strategy. So we involved from the start, start all those different colleagues and all those different perspectives. Um, we did the same in uh, October 2019 with even more colleagues to actually build a new strategy. And we asked them, OK, please show me your projects and uh, make and, and let's combine all those projects within one common, uh, commonly shared uh, innovation and action program. Um, and at the beginning of this year in January, we invited hundreds of representatives of businesses, stakeholders, NGOs, and citizens um, to comment on the draft version of both the strategy and the program. So it's really a shared vision, a shared program, and a shared uh, strategy. And we combine this also with the development of a monitoring framework to actually monitoring the progress uh, towards uh, a circular climate neutral and inclusive city. And, uh, and, and also Kate was speaking about that, we actually developed the first city port uh, portrait to see on both the local and the global level, looking at it from the societal and ecological perspective, where we stand as a city. And all those four elements are so important to create this movement, to build this movement and to maintain this movement and strengthen it.